warm welcome to all our viewers and wish you all a very happy Ganesha Chaturthi. We are on the fifth episode of Saturday Talks with Experts and today we are going to see about open schooling opportunities and advantages. This program is presented by NGPL, Next Gen Political Leaders, an NGO to nurture young political minds of our country. And we have Presence, a national monthly e zine since 2006, which was started to promote positive journalism as our knowledge partner. I'm your host, Sukriti Narayanan, and I'm going to make your show fun, interesting, and informative. Today's expert, Dr. P. Ravi, former regional director of National Institute of Open Schooling, NIOS, is going to share his rich experience about open schooling. He has over three decades of experience in the field of education. He has bagged various awards for his exemplary work as a teacher, principal, and organizer. He's multilingual, where he can speak five languages, and he's also known as NIOS Robby among his peers. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you so much for being part of it. So, sir, we're so excited because this is a new concept, I would say. I know it's been for a long time, but not many know about it. So, to start with, what is open schooling and what is NIOS? Can you share a few lines, sir? Namaste and welcome to all the viewers. And uh, at the outset, I must thank the Prime Point Srinivasanji to come out with this type of initiative, uh, making the people to understand the various programs available in our country. One among that is today's the open schooling system available or offered from Government of India. At the outset, I must say in one sentence, it is the the most flexible quality education available on the doorstep of uh, any learner. I specifically use the word learner here. In open education, we address the people as a learner and in a school system, we tell them as a student. And uh, in, when it comes to the teaching part, we always address as a teachers. Here we address them as a tutors because it is more learner centric education and the entire program or the curriculum is designed in that way and it's a flexible quality education when i say that it is offered or the initiative is from the government of india probably you are aware that there are two national boards one is central board of secondary education which is for the formal schooling system and national institute of open schooling is an another uh, initiative from Government of India to cater to the needs of the people who would like to have a flexible learning options. I keep mentioning the word flexible options. I specifically say this because in the education, there is every individual, individual is different. Every person's need is different. I can compare with our taste bud of our tongue. Even when we go to a restaurant, a family, I don't think the family had uh, ordered the menu for that, uh, you know, everybody's asked and they just give their uh, choice. Same is the system is available in the open and distance mode. I want to again more emphasize here, whenever we use the open and distance education, there is always kind of a myth in the minds of the people, oh, quality may be compromised. No, not at all. It is, it is your option. You know, if somebody is traveling on the four lane national highways, somebody takes on the leftmost lane in the Indian situation, you can go at your own slow speed. There's nobody's going to travel. If somebody is going on the rightmost lane, it is his skill and the high end of the car or the entire its option. But both of them had the privilege of traveling in the national highways. This is what I want to tell. But in, when, I, when it comes to the regular or uh, regular school system, there is always there is a rigidity. Sometimes you may have a high-end car, but the road will decide what speed you are supposed to go. Suppose you go in a kacha road, the road is not good. What is it? The road will decide whatever may be your skill. So I don't want that to happen. That is how today 
I would. I'm so happy that I get a chance to now talk about this. Uh, you know, open and distant mode of education. Uh, and since you already told about my past background, for about 20 years I was in the regular school system, and I migrated or moved to this open and distant uh, mode of education. Rather, I should say that I have fallen in love <laughs> with this uh, system, wow. and I have been propagating that because I have seen the progress of the children. I think maybe uh, I will just say the a variety of people how they are all benefited i think we can start with one or two video is there i think that niranjana you know she is uh, uh, how she is enjoying her life without compromising on the studies and pursuing her passion another uh, uh, rea the way she is into the terms maybe that two video i think i will start with a very interesting note of uh, how nice is a video please absolutely sir Hi, this is Rene from Chennai. After completing class 10, I was looking for a way to study and follow my passion of playing the drums. It was then that I discovered NIOS and I'm currently doing my senior secondary schooling. And I'm able to spend a lot of time practicing drums. NIOS has been a game changer by giving me the space and time to study subject of my choice at the time available. It is an amazing platform for students who wish to continue studying along with pursuing their passion. This helped me enter the Hit Like a Girl contest which is a worldwide contest for female drummers. And I am proud to say that I was the third weekly winner and the India winner in the under 18 category. Thanks to NIOS for helping me in pursuing my dreams and following my passion. And this is Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Yes, and as you see, I am a ventriloquist and I've been performing this art form for the past 14 years or so. This was the question asked by most of them. Uh, so that's why luckily I chose NIOS, which is a student friendly education system. It helped me a lot to balance my talent as well as my studies. Whereas you see other schools, I've also studied in regular schools and their motto is marks and everything. And like there I can't concentrate more on my art work. So yes, so that's why this girl is very helpful. She's also good at studies, good at talent, everything you can manage. Yes, you can manage your time by using this and uh, it gives a lot of options. You can choose your subject and all. I really, it helped me. It was, your studies wasn't a burden to me in this NIOS board. So actually, I loved studying after uh, changing my boards to NIOS. And how do you feel? Yes, I feel so happy and I also want to study. You're not going to tell me about this court. Can you also give me admission? No, they don't uh, give admissions for monkeys. Wow, I must say. Fantastic, sir. These two are amazing. Uh, many such students are there just for the time, you know, we are just showing mm -hmm. you one or two only. Um, okay. we, we also have a students who are excelled in academics, entered into IIT, doing other medicines, passing through the NEET and all that. We have a various category of achievers, including sports and all that. Um, we'll discuss many things about that in uh, subsequent question. Wow. Because I was actually about to ask, so, you know, what would be the difference? So you very clearly pointed out, like, this is like a national highway and students, they determine the speed which they travel. And also I was about to ask, what are the benefits? And these two videos, actually, they speak at all. So thanks for those videos, sir. And now I have another question about what would be like, do we have different mediums of uh, instruction for students to learn from? Or is it one single language? How does it work, sir? 
Yes, I will just uh, briefly see. We have uh, offer the program in class tenth level and twelfth level, what we call secondary and senior secondary. And when it comes to the language, that is our uh, regional language or the national language, whatever, they still about seventeen languages are there. Uh, if, for example, a boy who is there in uh, Chennai, he wants to learn Assamese. He can study that because it's going to be the self-learning. The materials are available, so it's a language part of it. When it comes to the medium part of it, we have uh, already uh, the, by by default for all the I mean Hindi, Urdu, and English. It is there. See, I must mention Urdu medium is available for it. even there are many boards are there. They don't have such type of because we have a huge population of Urdu population also. And uh, same way Assamese in in uh, Tamil Nadu we have for secondary. Tamil uh, medium is available. We have in Karnataka, Kannada, and then Malayalam medium is there. Bengali, Assamese, all the languages are there. Now they are adding many more. Even Gujarati also now recently added. And one more advantage is here, which actually many no other board provides is a boy or girl can study on their respective language. But even if it is in English, at the time of writing examination, he or she can take the which medium they want to write it. See that's a beauty. See, whereas in the other cases you have to decide which medium you are going to write the exam well in advance. For example, even if he gets English paper, I mean English medium paper, but he prefers to write it in Tamil, he has got the freedom to write in Tamil. But only thing is he has to understand that question and write every content in the Tamil. So the paper will be evaluated and you know. See that is the beauty here that the child gets the you know absolutely no how he doesn't have any kind of uh, pressure on him at all. Leading on his own pace, and the language is not a barrier. He can even see. Suppose you may ask, sir, English medium book is there? How you can write it in Tamil? Medium? Yes, there is Tamil medium books are available in the state board. Concepts are same. Only thing the content part he has to learn it, and then if he's having ability to write it in the his own mother tongue, he can very well do that. So language, uh, I think as I mentioned, there are plenty of options are there, and the medium of instructions also. In case even if they are not having the required medium, but they have got the freedom to write the language in which he can write. That's it. Okay. Wow, seventeen languages. That yes. is a lot. We are catering to the entire Indian population. That's it. Absolutely, absolutely. And sir, uh, when it comes to you know higher education or studying abroad, so can students opt for that after uh, finishing their courses with NIOS? Yes, a very very valid question. <laughs> This is in fact in the minds of many parents. First thing they just ask is, is it a valid board? You are very politely asked it. <laughs> you know, polished way as they. Some other people will bluntly ask, "Sir, is it a valid board?" See, I, I, it's very painful uh, when uh, you know. You know, it's almost more than a three decade. This program is going on in the country, probably due to lack of advocacy or the people have got a wrong notion that anything offered other than the regular system is not valid. One, this is what they are thinking. It is a valid board. approved by association of indian universities aiu is an apex body for approving all the courses for the university admission including the neat and the uh, what do you call j and since aiu is approved it is across the world is accepted in fact i must say in us in uk the nios curriculum and the board is more familiar there are many students are going out i like to add this uh, last year one of the boy is a sailor and uh, i think when the time permits people can see that janaki balachandra in youtube you can just google it and just see that uh, she so nicely narrated how this nios is benefited her own brother magesh has studied in nios he is also a national international level sailor now he is studying his engineering in perdue university in usa so there are student to germany and you know, many many across the world they are all going that so i must say in this form it is only the ignorance that people are having a doubt on that otherwise it is a valid board and we are actually following the national curriculum framework any board in the country is supposed to follow the yardstick of the national curriculum framework and our syllabus and the curriculum is also designed based on that so it is an internationally at par and you know no doubt at all i wish everybody should enjoy this portion of that
hope I have answered absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely, sir. Because apart from you know main curriculum, when they are able to take up, because one of the videos that we saw for fourteen years, you know, she's had the talent and she's pursuing it, uh, yes. you know, both simultaneously. So wow! And I'm actually curious on this note. So what will be the type of courses offered, sir? Will it be like your normal, you know, school uh, kind of education curriculum, or what will be the courses? Yes, uh, wonderful. Uh, as uh, in the beginning itself, I was mentioning, we address the, uh, you know, as a learners, that means self-learning. So our study materials, which we don't call it as a textbook. See, these are all terminologies used in the open and distance mode of education. So when I say self-learning material, we have embedded the teacher in that material. It is a only a dialogue between the author, one who wrote the material, and the, directly the learner. So I wish that every regular school student and the teacher should go through this content because it is more of a learner friendly. And uh, we have designed this uh, curriculum and also the study materials to so uh, in such a way that nowhere the learner finds it difficult. So it is more depending on his learner's capacity. You may ask, well, sometimes, sir, if the question, if the subject is very difficult, by mistake he has taken that, maybe the mathematics he has taken. He, on the way, he, of the way he find it difficult, he may not be able to continue. There is an option here, he can change the subject. So that way what happens, first of all, when he's selecting the subject, he selects what all suitable to him. For example, in 10th standard, we have other than the conventional subject, like the mathematics, science, and social science, of course, languages are there. We have a subject like economics, accountancy, business study, which is normally noticed in the senior secondary level, but we provide them in 10th standard itself. Then we have Indian culture and heritage. It's almost in par with the uh, I mean, social science, but focusing more on Indian uh, aspect of that. Then we have a data entry operation. It's a little mild. And then painting as one subject. We have home science. So here what happens, the student takes a decision based on his interest and an aptitude. So he will decide by default, suppose somebody is good in uh, art, you know, he will have inclination towards taking the uh, painting as one of the subject. Then the parents sometimes or even some academicians used to ask, sir, by taking the painting, what is the career for him? I said, see, today there are a lot of careers out there. People today, it is your skill sets makes a difference. It's not the you are, you know, certificate, what conventional subjects you are studied. You know very well, I think uh, you also being uh, studied engineering, now you have become a communication expert now. So same is the case now. We need to, but this should not happen at the later stage. Let it happen at the very early stage. So both in secondary and senior secondary, we have a variety of subjects. Person selects the subject based on his interest and the aptitude, inborn ability, and he makes his own career. So that is how uh, NIOS provides such type of flexible curriculum. And I say, this is what I mean. Hope I answer to your question. Absolutely, sir. Yes. And I'm curious about the admission process. So how easy is, is it to apply for an IOS, sir? Okay, great. Uh, I think uh, initially, and I mentioned, it's uh, education at your doorstep. When I say that education at your doorstep, I think admission also should be at your doorstep. That's how it is 100%. It's online process. One need not struggle. Just in our now today we are connected. You are calling, you are asking me questions from Australia. I am here in Chennai. People across the world they are watching this. See today the, uh, in, the, in this the web world everything is possible. So sitting at his own place only uh, internet connection is required. Go to the NIOS website www.nios.ac.in. It's our official website. In that there is an admission column. Once they press that, the entire thing it will be guided. So what they need to have, they have to have a, one valid email ID and a mobile number to get the OTP and they validate their credentials and then they will log in. They will get the student's dashboard, go on filling the form, just like it's a railway reservation booking or any online payment and all those things. And uh, they don't need to submit any physical document, keep all the documents like uh, other card in, or any address proof, his uh, date of birth, uh, you know, all those things scan copy and photograph and signature, that's all keep uploading them and once all the contents are everything is there it is approved and you can download your id card and the payment also done the payment part i must say that here it's very very nominal which includes the study material also for five subjects 
thousand eight hundred rupees for a tenth standard and two thousand rupees for the senior secondary. That is twelfth standard. If they are girls or coming under a different category of reservation, they are given a two hundred and seventy five rupees, seventy rupees. Uh, what you call as a concession, including the ex service men, disabled children, and all those things. So this is what the admission process. Everything is hundred percent online. They need not go and knock at somebody's door. It is just they have to browse the information and find out. So definitely, they don't have to stand in queues for admission for no, no, no. you know changing schools. So I think that has become you know little tedious of late. So wow, a yes. doorstep. And for those you know who missed the uh, website link, I would like to repeat that. That is www.nios.ac.in. Is that correct, sir? Yes, exactly. Okay. And now, sir, what? Yes, you actually also mentioned about the fees involved, and I think this is brilliant. I wish I had all these opportunities when I was young. I didn't know about it. And sir, when it comes to you, did mention about changing the subject, like one can change subjects or take additional subjects, right? So how will that work, sir? At what time, like, say for example, if I'm halfway through the learning and if I think no, I'm not, you know, too much into it. So at what stage can one change the subject, and how will the whole process work, sir? Yeah. Yes. See so, you now, uh, the entire content is available in our website. especially the study material see one need not go and buy somewhere in the market and all that in pdf form it is available including the video lessons also is available they have to go in our website there is a, uh, a link called a online course material there is a link once they click that they can see the complete uh, subjects whatever is offered in in nios and they can see the content before taking a decision what is the standard of the material does it actually matches his taste or his capacity all those thing he can take there is no hurry at all because he is going to take his own decision so he can go through all the subject uh, you know it's available is online everything uh, that's the first point he has to do that and the second case okay in case he has taken it and he is entering into that i must say here uh, there is a two admission cycles see 365 days into 24 hours any time the admission can take place But it is put into two blocks. It's called block one and block two. Let me make it why it is called. Block one is from March 16th to 25th September is a block one. So anybody who takes admission there is eligible to write the first examination in the April month of the subsequent year. So this is and then the rest of the period after 26th, I mean 16th September to the March 15th, it's a block two. and these students will be able to or the learners will be able to write the examination in october month so i will when i come to talk about examination i will mention that but here i am specifically talking about the admission cycle so in case suppose somebody takes it he, after confirmation he feels that he doesn't want to continue with the same subject see here we have an advantage five subject is a must for passing but additionally he can take two subjects but it is not mandatory that he has to pass all the subjects seven subjects so here he can drop that suppose imagine he has taken six subjects one of the subject he finds is difficult he can drop it he need there is no compulsion or he has taken only five subjects but out of that he wants to either add a new one or he want to change he can go to the same login credential he has got the students dashboard there is called e service e service is an option where plenty of options are given by mistake suppose his name is not properly uh, typed properly father name is correct not date of birth is mistake everything you can change it but just paying a, one a service fee uh, that has to be uh, paid according to the service whatever he is taking it okay that's the way it has to be that e service is a very very learner friendly it is more rather than by sitting at his home he can do all those things okay he can change any number of time also suppose you may ask sir he has changed now what he still he finds that subject also less you can change it but these things cannot happen in our regular school okay so uh, absolutely he finds total freedom on that so using this e service is the option based on which he can do that but uh, before the examination he cannot change before the paying the examination fee he can do that so today he has paid the examination fee for the examination time he wants to but it's not possible he has to wait for the next admission cycle where after the result is declared he has to go for a change Uh, I hope I 
with your uh, yes, question. Sir. Yes, sir. And you also mentioned, you know, you will share more about the examination. So now moving to the examination. So how is the examination conducted? And say, apart from final exams, are there any other, say, milestones that the students have to cross where they are being assessed? How does it work, sir? Uh, see, I, I look at this uh, examination system of NIOS is uh, one of the very strong pillar of the system. And uh, why this education has as such become a very stressful in the regular school system, mainly because of the examination. Why? What is happening? See, somebody who takes a subject and he has to wait for the final examination when the result is, I mean, what you call timetable is declared, the pressure is mounting. For example, senior secondary student, after 10 standard, he takes admission. He has to undergo this struggle to write his first examination after two years, and he'll be waiting for his, uh, you know, timetable. If something goes wrong, either it with him or in his family or anything, entire thing is built. There are cases you might have seen also. Then a very unfortunate thing: father or mother has died at home, but still the child is going and writing the examination. No other option. Keeping all those things when you see that, NIOS provides such a wonderful flexibility. First part. There are two full-fledged examination in the country conducted twice in a year. One is in normal April and the other one is October. Other board, what they do, like CBSC, if you take it, they do conduct the second, but it's for the failed candidate, they will conduct as a supplementary examination, but where everybody cannot participate. But whereas here, full-fledged, what is the meaning of this? I have taken five subjects. So what I do, three exams, I will write it in the April, and the next October, I will write it to the remaining two. In case if I am not happy with the April performance, I can repeat the same examination in the October. The best result will be considered for certification. Okay, that is the beauty. So where does the stress comes? A boy who misses something, he knows that uh, there is another bus. So just imagine somebody is waiting for a bus, uh, only one bus in a day. That means how much of tension people will be driving. Somebody misses, okay, within third minute, three minutes, there's another train or a bus will come. So you are relaxing. Even if you have lost that bus, you don't buy it. Same is the case here. Another beauty is there is one more examination system available. There's nowhere available in the country here. It is called on-demand examination. That is, learner decides when he wants to write, which paper he wants to write. That's all. He will go into the student login. He will select the on-demand portal. He will just check it. Yes, there are uh, uh, portal, I mean, seats are available. He will take today physics in that day. I want to write it. That's all. Find rupees, he will pay. Okay, in case he is not able to write that, no problem, drop it. The next month he will take it. So, absolutely, this two board examination, full fledged board examination, and one uh, on demand examination, which is conducted. That means you find throughout the year, the examination is conducted. Throughout the year, admission is conducted. So, you just see the flexibility. This is the uh, very, very important thing, which I wanted all the parents who are seeing this program should extend this type of facility wherever that I'm not see, I'm not trying to tell you that all of you shift to uh, NIOS, you know, wherever there is a demand. No, I will, in the course of discussion, I will also tell you what the people can make use of it, I will take. Absolutely. And so I must say, when normally we have exam fears, even sometimes, you know, when I'm sleeping, like I've well past all this stage, I've done my post graduation as well. But this exam fear is common every, like, you know, amongst everyone. Yes. So when you say it is available all the time, I would say, yes. wow. Yes. And sir, I would like to ask you. That is the way I, I want to add this also. We have yet to come across even a single case of suicide in the NIY school. Nobody, because where does this? It's like a, a pressure, no pressure cooker, pressure cooker without the pressure weight on the top. Whenever it builds, it goes off. There is no question of you know building a pressure there. That's sorry. Absolutely. Yes, please. And how will the uh, new education policy uh, impact an IOS? Uh, will, will it have any uh, impact uh, on it? You, you have asked a very very valid question. In my, I must say that new education policy has incorporated many of the qualities of NIOS, I must say. It is not going to impact. See, what do they say that? Now you give the option for the children to change the subject. You give the students, you know, option to get in any time and get out any time. You know, it's almost like a board, even in the college level, if you see that now what is happening. Earlier, somebody is dropping out in the second year. That's all. He's a college dropout. 
even in the school somebody failed in 11th standard he, that's all he has to forget it he's a dropout it is all going to be the social liability but now they what do they say that if somebody leaves the college in the first year you are giving him diploma okay mm -hmm. somebody is now that's completing true, is then we are giving this is what you know here also the same way uh, you any time suppose for example some boy, a boy has uh, dropped in class 11th mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he did not study for two years now if he wants to come and join and complete this 12th standard he need not again waste two years to after 10th standard it's two years but he need not he can only within one year he can do that because he has already completed his 11th standard so these are the ways first flexibility part that the new education policy has really brought it and uh, one more uh, specific thing in the new education policy which i done, they want to be more student friendly absolutely there should not be any stress at all and they also mentioned about the vocational skill also here you see there are many people who are working even students who are all studying somewhere or maybe polytechnic or uh, iti he wants to do his 12th standard he get into here see one side is getting his vocational training he comes here now this is what the nep is telling you please introduce the vocational skill also in the school system sir. here ni is also having another segment it's called vocational education we have about 104 uh, or four or six uh, trades are available and uh, people can take it simultaneously can do both okay there are many uh, nios learners are pursuing both academic as well as the vocational which are all now made it as a, a policy in the new educational policy. It's otherwise, it is as such, it's going on now. Yeah. And I can quote, there are few schools in uh, uh, Chennai, uh, the regular school students, they are taken NIOS vocational subjects, like for example, electrical and home, uh, home appliances. A boy or a girl, uh, before completing the 12th standard, at least the basic electrical appliance and knowledge is getting it from the regular school, but they are all following our NIOS uh, vocational program. So now, uh, policy is telling, please do this in a formal way, like that they are telling that. So I must, I can go on adding to this, but in one uh, sentence, I can say that many qualities of NIOS is now embedded into the new education policy. That's awesome. And <laughs> sir, like we're going to open uh, the session for uh question answer session with our audience so before that uh, can you share uh, the contact you did mention about the website but if students have any queries like of course after listening to this definitely you know people would want both parents and students would want to know more about NAOS so where can they contact what what would be the information yeah. sir? how can they it's contact? available in the website regional wise but in the national level I will tell you this is our uh, NOIDA headquarters other one is the regional center in uh, Chennai. Uh, yes. So now this institutional area, that's a sector 62 is in Noida, where we have almost a seven floor, uh, very big uh, office. It almost looks like our IT <laughs> sector because it is catering to the entire nation. Uh, around 23 regional centers are there, which is taking care of every uh, state. Like what we have in Chennai is taking care of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. And uh, we have a toll-free number, 1900-180-9393, which is available for the, you know, the toll-free number. And for our regional center, Chennai, you can see the website and you know, they are all, and even IBRS system also is available. People can talk and then even the, any language they can also ask. So it is very, very uh, available to them. People have to approach them. And uh, it is a pan-India. The entire program is spread across the country. Even some part of the uh, different world, like uh, Gulf countries, we have a NIOI study centers out there. Hey, I will, uh, having mentioned that, I must say about the study center, uh, uh, probably I just to maybe in a minute I want to tell, people will ask this question, sir, if somebody is studying at his home, then what is the use of this, uh, all these regional office and uh, what type of service they are doing? It? See, when you take the admission, you should always take the admission through the available local study centers. We have about uh, 6,700 study centers are available across the country. What are these study centers? They are all nothing but a regular, recognized senior secondary schools. So it is not simply some tutorials can become the study center. It is the only study center which has got the complete school system and teachers are available who will be able to extend this facility to their uh, NIY students. Okay. So this is how it goes on. 
and uh, they will select the study center in case if they are suppose somebody is transferred from chennai to mumbai he can even transfer the study center also he can go into the east uh, service apply for the following reason i want to change it to the uh, mumbai suppose even for examination he pays the pay examination fee in chennai now he has to bother transfer or some uh, due to some migration they have moved to some other places he can apply for the change of examination center also so uh, this is how it operates for for all this service you can be in respective regional center which is available in our website like for example if you take telangana it is there in hyderabad if you take our karnataka it is there in bangalore like this kerala kochi like that regional office address is there they can contact them they are all uh, available for either uh, telephonically or even for your email they will respond to that no, it's not be a problem yes. okay and now sir we've opened the floor for um, question answer session with our audience yes. so yes. i actually saw a question about um, you know the study center you know if a student has doubt how can they approach and you've actually answered that question so hope your um, yes uh, i i will add to that also you know yes mm -hmm. i will add sure, to sir. that what is the role of study centers and uh -huh. anybody who has taken admission in nos in that particular session they will conduct a 15 days uh, personal contact program where the learner will go to that school or the study center meet the teacher and take his guidance completely because in 15 days you cannot teach the entire syllabus it is a face to face interaction they will take the help of the tutors and they will also wherever the subjects are having the practical component they will do the practical component in that particular school so this is again there is a myth in the minds of the people is uh, sir what about the practical oriented subject yes when a student is eligible to join in iit and uh, in medicine like a neat and all that uh, this is taking care of that part also they will do they will go and perform the experiment there is an internal assessment then there is an external examination everything just like a normal schooling system but only thing is he need not every day go to school he will go to the time when it is required even for any reasons that something calamity or something has happened he has got a total freedom to approach i may come and do this in some other this is a mou signed between nios and the study center they have to extend all the facility to the learners that's the meaning of that I made it clear about the role of study center, please. Yes, I hope uh, sir has answered your question. And okay, I have an interesting question here, sir. So, if a student fails in a subject, can they reappear for the exam? And how will that work? Okay. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, very good. Uh, see, this is a. Uh, I must say, my with my personal experience here, I have helped with. Uh, hundreds of students who are in total distress you know when the result is declared especially in cbse in state board some students they fail you know two three subjects when i look at the mark in uh, mathematics he would have got some single digit mark it's very painful and he will go and appear for the i mean compartment subsequently like this and all that and if a person fails more than two subject he has to write the remaining all the five said next time completely there is no compartment only two subjects is called a compartment if he fails more than two subject he has to repeat the even the past subject also but nwis provides such type of opportunity where he will come come and take the admission and transfer the two of the credit which has already passed for example he has passed in english he has passed in suppose so i mean like uh, uh, economics those two subject he will transfer at the time of admission which we call it as a toc and he need not write that that mark will be printed in the nio certificate remaining three subject he can go for taking in nio yes there also he can take he need not take the say see it's again wrong to say that people they think that oh he failed in cbsc oh when go to nio yes he will pass no it's not like that equally maths also is very difficult for uh, information of everybody i must say that if somebody gets 95 and above in mathematics in the nio yes take it granted he will get a very good position in a je advance that is is a comparison i can make so that is a level of standard so here what i say he can drop that subject and he can analyze himself what actually is made up of by default which one he likes it he can select that subject that is how nios allow you to take the subject here which is not possible there in other board he has to struggle with the same subject right as many times as possible he will get humiliated and one fine day will say i prefer to be called as a school dropout rather than 
undergoing this humiliation. Here in NIOS accommodates all these face, uh, all these people. So for a failed candidates, this is the only the solace or the our doors are open. Let them come happily, learn, enjoy, progress in life. This is a message I can pass on to the people. Absolutely, absolutely. So I hope yes, mostly you will not fail. But even if you fail, not to worry. So thanks for that, sir. No, no. I, uh, I, I must add, madam, here. You see uh -huh, why sure. their children are failing. This is most of the case whom I come across due to compulsion of either parents or relatives. A fellow who is not interested in science, he will take science stream. From the first unit test onwards, he will start failing. Teacher will start humiliating. In 11th standard, they will issue him TC and send him out. So do you want him to again struggle with the same subject? But NIYS provides, no, he will, science students will drop everything. He will take humanities. He will totally take the humanities. But that's not possible in a regular school system. So whomsoever comes to us, I will tell, see, already you have been rejected. Don't test any more of that. That's not your subject. Now select the subject of your choice without wasting additional one year. Within one year, sincerely they do it. I have seen them. A fellow who was thrown out of the school and he comes and takes the subject of his choice here and he completes the entire thing in one year. See, that is his power of learning. But unfortunately, he was in the wrong slot he was uh, put there earlier. This is how I feel the NIOS is helping the such type of student. They, it's a great human service they are doing it. I, I, that's the reason I I told you that I have fallen in love with this NIOS because of these type of things. <laughs> Thank you. And that's why people call you NIOS Ravi <laughs> oh, no, as no, no, well, no. I guess. Thank you. Thank you. And so I have a question here. Someone has asked, can a visually or physically challenged student be accommodated by NIOS? Exactly. As I mentioned, NIOS provides, accommodates everybody. I gave the comparison of, uh, you know, left lane driving. See here, somebody who is having some learning disability or who is in wheelchair, who cannot go to the regular school regularly, or maybe due to some autism, ADH, like this variety of, uh, you know, ch I mean, children, they have some sort of issues. How is this actually helps? Nearly, I can say about uh, 10 to 12 percent of our uh, NIOS learners comes under this category. That is the reason quite often people have understood in the initial stage when I came here, they thought this NIOS is only meant for the children with the learning issues or difficulties. No, it's a wrong. Now I told that Arjun Bharat, who is now doing his uh, 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 final year uh, VTEC engineering is all India level uh, 26th rank in JE advanced and he's studying. And we have uh, hundreds of students cleared and neat and doing the medicine. And you have seen a oh, lot of sports children are there. That's one category. Now here, these type of children also come. How do they do that? Here, uh, uh, admission is valid for five years. So he can do subject, one one subject. In case he is not happy, he can repeat it once again. If he wants, he can change it. And then in addition to that, we also provide a lot of relaxation. If somebody who is physically challenged, who cannot write on his own, a medical board will give that he can engage the scribe. Somebody who is not, you see, now already you just visually impaired. And I must say that NIO is, is the only board in the country has come with the, the sign language. There is a separate TV channel also uh, opened in that where the lessons are taught in the sign language. And for the people with the, you know, uh, uh, what do you call them, um, uh, visually impaired, they have a talking book, a DAISY format of the lesson is that they can listen to the lesson. And uh, we also provide the Muktu Vidyavani, it's a web radio, where they can listen to the uh, voice of the lessons. The every hour, we have academic officers at headquarter. It is being continuously broadcasted. And uh, we, it is also provided in a TV. There are channels, five channels are exclusively given for uh, NIOS, where you will have for 10th standard one separately, Panini, that's a, and then Sharda. And then we have, you know, five ch channels are there to meet all the requirement of the team. So that way we accommodate. And I am I'm, I'm telling you that, but for this type of, you know, board, I'm sure that many of these type of children who are at the disadvantaged stages would have been neglected from the society. I feel so proud. This board is accommodating everybody and giving the way for them to come up in life. Due to the paucity of time, I am not uh, quoting some of the touching, uh, you know, situations which I have faced in my life. I know uh, which in uh, I'm yet to come across such type of things is happening anywhere in the, uh, you know, system. 
Yes. Okay. So before we wrap up, sir, I'll just take one last question. So Please. there is this question where, like engineering, is there a method where the exams can uh, go through recorrection? Is a question, sir. So I'll, this will be the oh, last exactly. question we will take from yes. audience. Yes, ma'am. Hundred percent. It is a as I already mentioned. It is a regular board. It's a national board which contains all the norms what is followed in the any other education system is being applied here also. Here, somebody is not happy with his performance, he can challenge it in the form of called re-evaluation. Even re-totaling is there. They will just total it and say that whether it's correct or not. And he can go for re-evaluation, which will be done by the expert committee. And if any mark is the difference is there, they will definitely reflect it and revised uh, mark list will be provided. And one step, they can even ask for the photocopy of the answer uh, script also. See, the, where does this, uh, you know, total transparency is there. So, a uh, child, he can, sometimes they say that sometimes parents say, sir, my son has done well, but the mark has come. I tell them, these are all the medias, how you go to the judiciary and knock at the door. Here is that, the option is in your hand. You don't need to go and uh, go to the e-service. Just apply. I want the revaluation. This this number, this paper. That's all. In another 40, 40 days, the entire uh, things will be there. There are people even challenged in the court, and the paper was produced in the court also. So that much transparency is there in the system, please. Okay. And sir, uh, you did mention you have so many incidents that are close to your heart. I know we are uh, going over time, but I feel, you know, when you're so much passionate about what you do, can you share just one uh, small incident, sir? Because I know yes. you're so passionate about this, so I don't want to miss out on that. Yes, madam. It is a, well, you know, one of the on-demand examination. I just happened to see through my that webcam, one car came to my office. Somebody was taking out the, you know, the wheelchair and uh, just lifted that boy and put him and. Uh, Whereas our examination system in the first floor, I told he cannot go there. So I told him, please come. And then we gave him the ground floor itself. He was so confidently was writing his exam. And before that day, there was a one mail. That mail was asking, can I write two exams on the same day he has asked? I thought that somebody is making fun. I did not respond to that. But when this boy came here, he was writing and I asked him, where are you from? He said, I am from Jharkhand. How come you have come to Chennai? No, sir, I have come to Vellur Medical College, CMC, for my treatment. What has happened? The boy, up to 10th standard, he was a very nice boy, good in football. He was at school first. But something unfortunate has happened. His lower limb started losing the function slowly. He was not able to move. So he is under treatment in uh, CMC. It's a very, very costly and a very professional treatment, prolonged treatment. When the boy is undergoing treatment for two years, he happened to browse him, can I continue my studies? He himself has discovered that uh, there is a NIYS board and all those things, and he came to know that, and he... I was shocked when he listened. I asked him, did you send that mail, mail from your side? Immediately, yes, sir, he told me. Why? Sir, already my family is under big uh, financial stress because it's a very costly treatment. Every time I cannot come by bus or train, I have to come hire a taxi and come. 5,000 rupees every time my father is selling it out. But I have prepared, I, if I write two exams in the same day, I can save 5,000 rupees for my father. That is the reason I asked him. See the confidence the boy has talked. And such a system was available to give them when he is in the treatment bed, I am providing him an education. He is able to complete his uh, examination. And after treatment, he has gone back. Still, his father is in touch with us. And I really feel even if this may be a one single boy. I know how many such people are there across the country. But it makes a matter for us. So this is how I felt it. Uh, the NI voice is a, such a wonderful name. Anything it can reach. And especially, one more incident, I must say that. One woman came to my office one day. She felt so amazed, sir, I want to meet the regional director. I said, why? I said, okay. She gave me a one small two piece of cake and gave it to me and said, I, no, sir, I'm working in a bakery. I thought that I passed my 10th standard, which was my dream in my life. She, you know, see, I'm such a poor background lady. Today, my husband is respecting me. I have kept my 10th standard certificate in a framed in that home. How it has elevated the, you know, the self-esteem of that uh, woman. 
So the women folk of our underprivileged section, they are all being benefited by this uh, uh, wonderful scheme. And this must reach each and every corner of our country. And uh, every organization should support this. And we should make our India the literate and skilled India. Then only we will be able to meet our Abdul Kalam sir, you know, the dream, making superpower our country. Only through education we can do, madam. I know I think I talked extra, but it's worth mentioning that. Please. No, definitely, sir. I must say, you know, your rich experience, the enthusiasm with which you shared the information. I can't believe it's been about 50 minutes. Time just flew <laughs> because I just felt, yes, it, the life started. And definitely we didn't know so much about NIOS. And there's such a beautiful platform. And I would say the two videos speaks it all because Yes, NIOS is not just for the dropouts or for students who are not able to go to normal school. Even normal children, they go to uh, IIT, as you mentioned, they go to medical universities as well. So it was such an insightful program. And your energy just, you know, let the program just flow. And I must say, right from what is open schooling to how the admission works to the examination patterns, the fees, I think we covered the whole uh, all-round aspect of that along with the testimonials. So thank you so much for being part of this uh, show, sir. And no wonder you're called you. as NIOS Rabi. <laughs> no, no. It's, a, it's an opportunity. I just got it to serve this nation. That's all I think. Thank you, man. And I really wish, yeah, my parents knew about it when I was a child. So that because I love playing and yes, I really wish but that's okay. I am sure, you know, there will be so many other parents who would be benefited by this. And next week, same time, in the same window, we have a very interesting um, topic, career opportunities in Indian Army. And we have a very interesting personality in our show, Colonel Vembu Shankar. He is an Indian Army veteran, and he's also the recipient of Shaurya Chakra, which is India's third highest gallantry award for peace. So I'm so looking forward for this show and I'm sure it's going to be the same with you. So until next week, it is by from Sukruti from Australia. Stay safe and yes,